Here I have several face chains. Now, as you look at this, you'll see that I have what appears to be a nice blend. This is an aesthetic face blend as it flows from surface to surface and I obviously have a hard corner. The surface continuity tool allows us to verify what the continuity from surface to surface is doing. Now this is a true mathematical check. This is checking mathematically that the surfaces are doing what you want them to do, whether it's G0, G1, G2, or G3. Now in this case, if I come over here and select this surface, now I want to select near the edge that I want to verify, so I'm going to pick there. Now that I've selected my surface, I can pick a chain of surfaces, how many edges that you want. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and pick select edge 2 and I'm going to select this edge. Here you'll notice that I get these needles. Let me decrease the scale a little bit so we can see what's going on. As I decrease the scale, you'll notice that my continuity checking is going for G1. I do not have a G1 continuity. It's not tangent. It's obvious. It's a hard corner. So I'm going to go to positional and then turn off G1 and I'm going to increase my needles this go and what you'll see is as I run across this boundary you'll notice that I don't even have positional, true positional continuity. This is telling me over here it's positional. You can see that it's a uh, 0.000 that's a distance, and then here you'll see a, uh, a gap. All right. It's a visual gap. You can see that without necessarily having to show this, but uh, you may have a very large body side surface, and you're trying to sew everything, and for some reason not sewing, or you want to verify that you're, uh, with the data that you're sending to your, to your uh, customer is within whatever required tolerances that they, ver that they supply to you. So this is a good way to verify that. Here you can see I have a deviation in tolerance. Now I'm going to come in, I'm going to deselect this edge, I'm just going to hold the shift key down, and I'm going to go over to this edge. And then I'm going to pick select edge 1, I'm going to hold the shift key down, deselect that edge, and I'm going to come by and pick this edge. Here you'll notice that as soon as I do that, my G0 position, this goes out to 0 .002, so 2 microns basically. Uh, is my variation in distance and for the most part this is acceptable for anybody. Most companies have a allowable variation of 0 0.005, maybe 0 0.09, 0 0.009 or, or even 0 0.01 in some cases depending on what their tolerance are such as. So this is well within any allowable to tolerable limit. So I'm going to go to tangent. Let me turn off positional and let me increase these needles to see if I have any issues with tangent and you'll notice that I don't have any needles that pop up and this is saying this is within uh, 0 0.01 degrees or just outside of 0 0.01 this is at 0 degrees so this is telling me that this is well within the boundaries of tangency so if I go to curvature and then let me turn off tangent here you'll see that this is a nice curvature continuity running all the way across and then if I go to turn off curvature and I turn on flow and I see the same thing. Everything is beautiful. This is a nice constructed blend or fillet to this face. Now I'm going to verify this edge to see what we get. So I'll hold down my shift key, deselect that, and I'll come over here and select this edge. And I'll come over here, hold down my shift key, and then select this edge. I'll go to positional, let me turn off flow. And positional is showing me that, yep, this is pretty much dead on. Go to tangent. And again, this is pretty much dead on. You can see here it's um, less than two tenths of a degree off, which is nothing. I'll go to curvature. And you'll notice that I get some spikes. So this is telling me that I have a curvature discontinuity. It's pretty good. It's not a huge curvature discontinuity. This is at two basically 2%. So this is um, letting you know that, that you have a little bit of flow coming across. Again, this is a mathematical uh, true curvature continuity. And then I'll go to flow 
And of course, if I don't have curvature, flow is not going to be achievable. So you can see here, flow is off. I'm going to double click on this. I'm going to double click on this. And on this feature, I'm going to right mouse click. And you can see there's a single line over the top of this, whereas this has three lines. This is indicating this is G3. This is just G1. I'm going to right mouse click over this. I'm going to say G2. Select OK. And then now, when I go into my analysis here, I'm verifying G3 is still off. That's fine. If I go to G2, you'll notice that G2 is appearing clean. So again, this is a great way to verify that all of your blends, all your fillets, everything that you're doing, your transitions are coming in nice and clean. Your bridge surfaces, there's no edge breaks anywhere. So this is a really good tool to go in and verify that what you've built is uh, within the allowable tolerances that your customer has given you. Now you'll also notice that if I go edge to edge, I have edge to face. So if I have uh, an edge out in, in, in within the middle of a surface, then I can use that edge to face analysis to get the analysis verify that um, what I'm doing is correct. So let me um, actually let me delete this. I'm going to go into go to home. I'm going to go to, actually, I apologize, go to surface. I'm going to go to uh, X form. I'm going to pick the surface. And I want to just simply grab this and move it away. Let me go to polygon. And then, whoops, move this back. Move this back as well. Oops, let me deselect all this. Let me pick this one. Let me move this back. And the reason why I'm doing this is to show you that if I come in here and I did a bridge, for instance, and I've talked about bridge curve or bridge surface from there to there. And I'll leave this set up in the middle, just like that. Select OK. And this go, I'm going to go back into analysis. And for my analysis, I want to go in there and do my surface continuity. And this time I want to do an edge to face. Select your edge, which is this edge. Select your face, which is this face. And you can see it performs the analysis because it's measuring this edge of this surface down to this face. So if I go to curvature, you'll note that it's uh, off, but by well within any tolerances that are allowed. Same thing with tangent. Tangent should be spot on as well as positional. So those are the methods that you can verify your surfaces have the correct uh, surface continuity. Now, it's a great tool, very powerful. You saw that I could store the tool in the tree and I can go back and modify that tool at any time. So this is a good tool, especially if you do a lot of things with uh, uh, modifying control points. A lot of times a parametric surface is going to build a very clean, nice transition. Sometimes you may not have a, a surface that's complex enough to get the true uh, tolerance that you need within the true allowable tolerance that you need. You may have to increase the complexity of that parametric surface, but if you're doing a lot with control points, if you're doing uh, what you saw, what I did earlier, if I go into surface and I use my X form and I started pulling things up, this is a good way to verify that. If, I'm, if I am doing modifications from one surface to another, that the I can set the X form up on those two surfaces and, and verify that the modifications that I'm making aren't breaking any sort of tangencies that I have set up.